Hey, what's up everybody today we're gonna to be sitting down and learning the kebab os uh, i haven't learned this os yet or the bridge os for that sake so i thought why not just make a video with it and like help you guys understand my process of learning this is not gonna be like the usual like the videos you used to do back in the day with learning yuri and stuff this is gonna be me sitting down and doing it and i'm gonna cut it into some tidbits and like hopefully you guys can uh, then pick up on it as well and i will say that uh, the best the creator has made a youtube video here it is uh, on the uh, uh kebab os and you guys can go and watch that video i'm gonna put it in the description below so this is more like me trying to learn it and then telling you guys what he doesn't say in that video so it's easier for you guys to learn it and then we're gonna go into some casual matches and i'm gonna be focusing on only trying to hit this uh os like that's why we're going to casuals like i'm gonna be trying my hardest to create situations where I'm going to be able to practice this OS versus real players and get it under my fingers. So let's get into it. All right. So the first thing I noticed in his video that he isn't covering so that is worth for me to cover is he talks about like so that the character that Echo needs to be some kind of plus. And in the video, he shows uh, Echo just doing this. I think I have to bust it to all kinds of options, but basically he's setting the butt uh, let's just do this for now. Actually, let's keep the, let's keep the block one up on. Uh, da -da -da. There we go. Let's take these off. So, in the video, he talks about the character needing to be some kind of plus, and I think that's really important to know because then you can start looking for like setups with your team and Echo that can lead into this. And he gives some example of it, but basically, he shows that he does uh, this, and from this, you can do the worst. And what I know is straight off, straight off the bat is that, as you can see in the frame meter, I'm plus 56, which means that's going to be my target, is to be able to find combos that end with Echo being plus 56 on a knockdown, like so. Preferably in the corner, I guess. It, they always show this setup in the corner, so I guess we need to be in the corner for it. Okay, so the first thing I just want to do is just get the mix-up under the fingers. I have been trying it a little bit off camera just because i was interested and in like oh i want to try that you know but like it's a few days ago so like but basically as i said you want to be able to do this into this and then fireball as fast as you can and there i do this the uh, the first teleport to base so basically what i'm doing there is i'm jumping up and as fast as i can i'm doing the uh, fireball and then as soon as it comes out i visually confirm that it comes out i'm the, i I happen to sometimes react to the sound, but the sound happens before the fireball is actually out. So I'm trying to visually confirm seeing the fireball and then I'm pressing S2. And then after the S2, I press down forward into S2 again for the roll. And as I'm doing that, I'm doing a quick throw. And I think I subconsciously are doing a back throw every time. So like this. And that's basically the OS right yeah there i pressed throw a bit too many times yeah and there the teleport doesn't come out if you're holding a direction actually doing it yeah so that's how it looks with no options let's try to do it with him forward rolling because the forward roll is the one where like I want to see that I'm actually like getting the OS because that's where like he does the teleported throw instead of doing the roll. So ground tech forward rise. So here. Yeah, cool. I guess you can do this then. That's cool. Uh, we're not going to look into what I can get out of it. Cool. So that's with that. Now, let's do it with a get up attack, just to see that that works. I did it there even though I didn't get the fireball. <laughs> cool. I'm doing this exact same thing. Cool. 
cool now let's do them all together shall we so get up attack random ground tech settings random so if we do this oh. i know that some people are saying that the, the the random doesn't work but i feel like it's been working pretty well for me at the draw I want to see him do the get up attack. There we go. Cool. So that's all the bases covered basically for the thing. And now I'm just going to look for some different combos that can lead into it. Okay, so I've been doing some labbing and you guys have seen some uh, compilations of different things I've been looking at and doing. And what I've basically found out here at the end is, as he's saying in his video, if you're doing limit strike this ender uh, from high enough up, um, for some reason, and I don't know why, if anyone in the comments know why, uh, you have to do the... He says it's as doing the burrito setup. I don't know the burrito setup yet. There was, but basically you have to do like a dash back, and then like either like this or like this, and then like do the teleport. Like normally, remember we do just jump back, immediate fireball into teleport down. But there you have to do dash back, neutral jump or back jump, and do the then do the teleport. Um, I don't know why it happens, but the reason you need to do it is because. Uh, in those situations maybe it's because it's more plus frames it's like plus 60 i think from that ender um or something like that the fireball will go over their head like you see how like when i'm doing it here like the fireball will hit them but if i'm doing the setup with the dead ender the fireball will go over their head so they won't be hit by the fireball um now this is very much, you know, in the known kind of stuff because like the fireball is there to if they wake up blocking, you know, like if they wake up block, the fireball is there to scare them. So if you know they're going to do like some kind of roll tech or like wake up attack, this will still work with the other ender, with the with this ender um, from high up because the two options you use to uh, beat that is you teleport through them which still works from the get up attack or you do the OS where you teleport back and like grab them which also still works the only thing that doesn't work is that you're gonna mess up the setup if they just are patient and wake on blocking so that's why you need to do this in that setup else um, yeah so it's worth practicing but I'm also saying that like if you're playing at like a, 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 at a level where you know blocking isn't really a thing people do you might get away with a lot <laughs> besides that it's pretty easy um during the the highlights i think i showed like my bread and butter combo set up bread and butter corner combo which yeah as you can see i think i'm gonna try to hit that a few times with it and also just in general like any any kind of knockdown where you ended with this one it's very guaranteed that you can just do the kebab setup like it seems like like as soon if you can hit this you're good you can do the setup if you do like this and it's from a pretty high distance you might be in trouble that's what i've learned so far and that's that's some pretty good ground rules for being able to do this os and of course 
I think we're talking about the corner every time with this, like... Let me do a little, a little bit more labbing. I want to actually see how it works midstream. Okay, I'm back again. Final time, and then we get into some matches. So, the OS also works mid screen, but the reason it doesn't really work as well as it does in the corner is funny enough because mid screen they can just roll back and then, like, they're kind of out of your mix and you can't really do much about it. But if they forward roll or if they wake up, get up attack or just block, they are in the mix. But if they back roll, they're out. That's why it doesn't work as well mid-screen. Take it or leave it. I don't know if that's like something that might be uh, a reason not to do it or not. I need to... Depends on your opponent, honestly. It's less good mid-screen. It's very much less good mid-screen and very good in the corner. All right. Enough chatting and enough talking about this stuff. Let's get into some matches. God damn it. The one character... That apparently, like, this OS works... Not that well on Simo. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Well, we're gonna try to hit it on Simo anyway. Also, I put on a jumper because I was getting a bit cold in my room. Here we go. I messed up. God damn it. I hold down. I hold down. Okay, can we hit it from here? No! Damn it, man! Why? Oh my god, my burst. <laughs> I've been so bad lately. Oh my days. I need to stop pressing S1 and S2 when I'm trying to roll out.
God damn it, man. God damn it, I missed it again. Oh. That's annoying. I was dropping it because I was like, how can I get him into the corner? How can I do a combo to get him into the corner here? Yeah. Hey, we hit it. I died. I, I think I did it. I, I'm pretty sure I did it there. Like he woke up blocked, but it felt like it, it felt right. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough. I didn't win any of the games I was playing, and I only do like uh, some highlights of me trying to hit it. It's hard, man. It's hard to uh, take it into uh, practice that fast. But yeah, I'll just keep trying to hit it, and uh, eventually it's gonna be real good. There's a lot of times where I dropped it where if I hit it, it would have been worked out really well so yeah that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time god damn it man